Look what they've done to the beautiful poet's corner. I've I've uprooted all the boholoins, well only from here. There's still more to go, but I'm no gardener at 67. But look what they've done. It's totally overgrown and the bench has been removed. And this is what even St. Patrick, who many people think is a hero in our Irish law. No, no. Even St. Patrick, they decimated the local uh, law. And, and I don't agree with Druidism, right? The Druids exacted child sacrifice and taxes and they were terribly cruel and pagan and dreadful. But, but the Roman Catholic Church and the likes of St. Patrick, they came to Ireland and they raped it. And one of the things they did to make sure that the local language would die, the local law would die, the local traditions would die, was they killed the bards and the prophets. And I, I'm not trying to elevate myself and I'm only Anglo-Irish. But at the same time, this priest, Father Mark, I don't remember his last name, I went to him originally to welcome him to the parish, offer to help him clean up the parish, which is full of paedophile rings and satanic ritual abuse and corruption and cover-ups and so on. But, but I went in gently just to offer to say, you know, I've been here on and off since 1981. I'm a survivor, I'm a journalist, can I help you? And can I? Can you please call to me because I'm a pensioner, disabled, and I would like a grave plot beside my family plot. He never called to me. He, he sent me an, a few emails and said, oh, I'll bring it to Christ. I'll pray for you. <laughs> and I never heard a word since except he removed the bench from the poet's corner. So I could complain to the bishop, but the last time I was, you know, aware, the bishop was Michael Smith, who was related to the Bradys, who were related to a paedophile priest in Old Castle on the Millbrook Road, who was left out on bail for seven years before he was locked away for raping little altar boys. In that seven years, my firstborn son, age 17, wanted to get his driving license. So I said, get a job. Do you know what I mean, your dad's not, your dad's not here. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best. If you want to drive, get a job. So he walked within a five kilometer radius of Old Castle, cleaning windows. And he said to me, ma'am, there's this fella out the Millbrook Road and he gives me a hundred euros as long as I go inside the house and clean the inside of the windows as well. Well, guess who it was? The feckin' Brady paedophile priest out on bail for seven years. And thank God, just thank God my son just, I, you know, I've been able to educate my children a little bit and say, you know, if something seems too good to be true, it probably is. So yeah, I could. I think Michael Smith, Bishop Michael Smith, probably gone. Related to paedophile priest Brady out the Millbrook Road, who eventually got time, but probably is free now and maybe in the grave. But this is the poet's corner, and I am going to report you, Father Mark. I am going to report you, and Peter Caffrey, like. Back in the day, we, we thought, uh, I was a soccer mum, right? And we thought you were going to develop this field as a soccer field, soccer pitch for the town, even though it's very, you know, not PC for Sinn Féin. But, but Father Ray put his foot down and said, no, I want a prayer garden. And so here's the prayer garden, desecrated by this new priest. So hear me, Father Mark. You can send me all the emails you like saying you're going to take it to Christ. And yet you won't call to a disabled pensioner who wants to buy a plot. And you've kind of, 
you kind of made me feel like I think I'll just get cremated. I think I'll just get cremated.